Welcome to episode four of my winter garden series. If you're new here, so far we transplanted in week one, not a lot happened in week two. Week three we went through with a little bit of fertilizer and this week we've got some weeding to do and then I'm gonna hit the plants with a little bit of calcium to help their growth out. So here's one of the broccoli. They haven't been going crazy fast still, but they had just two tiny leaves when I transplanted them. So they're definitely starting to pop now. Sometimes it just takes three or four weeks for things to get set before they really can get a grip with their roots and really start going for it. The lettuce is really starting to pop though. You're definitely getting a lot of new growth on the, like this bunch right here. Some of the ones that got munched up, starting to shoot back. The constant battle, it's like, it's wet and the slugs love that, but then the, the water also messes up my bait. So it's just been like, I've been applying some every week. I'm gonna apply some more this week. It can get a little pricey, but I'm just gonna do a little bit, kind of just to hold them off enough. This cauliflower right here actually looks really good. Look at those nice big leaves starting to come in. Over here's the rest of the cauliflower starting to really do good and shoot out new leaves. Lettuce is doing great. Some of this lettuce over here. Red lettuce is doing good. This is some of my favorite of the lettuce. Spinach is really doing awesome. Some of them are still kind of small still like that one, but this one over here, like if you eat baby spinach, that's what they're harvesting right there. So this one's perfectly ready to go for baby spinach. So this side of the bed over here that's got lettuce and most of the cauliflower, you notice there's not a lot of weeds over here. See some growing like over there. So I'm just gonna go through and pull some of those. Here by the spinach too, you can see these weeds growing. Well, I didn't get all the weeds, but I got enough of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the gypsum now. I never used to use calcium, but when I did start using calcium, it was a huge game changer. And you can see this gypsum, 21% calcium, and then the other 89% is a calcium sulfate. So it's basically all calcium with a little bit of sulfur. Gypsum is actually pretty cheap. That's another reason I recommend it to people because it makes a big bang for the buck. The ratio is something like a couple tablespoons per plant, but plants are pretty small and I never measure. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a couple sprinkles. It's one of the nicer things about a winter garden is it does rain so much where you don't really have to water that often. This has been really just like an hour of work a week and you see they're, they're growing just fine. So I'll give you a little sneak peek into next week. So instead of having to pull weeds all winter, what I'm gonna do once the plants get established is plant a living cover crop mulch. That's something I did with my fruit trees this year. Like you can tell this one's just full of clover so no weeds can grow. Here's one that I didn't plant any clover in. You can see they're just a mess. And eventually you might even get a couple flowers out of those. So it looks really cool in my opinion. Once I pull the rest of the summer veggies, I'm just gonna plant clover all in these beds here. So it's just gonna be like a sea of green and I think it's gonna look really sweet. So that's it for episode four today, guys. It's been one full month for the Winter Garden and I'm super excited that things are finally starting to really pop. If you've enjoyed this series so far, don't forget to subscribe.